super dramatic, bro. Just like you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's... It's actually not time to eat. Yeah, a lot of people have been getting confused by that. Um, I'm not about to eat something. I think I've already said that once. Time to eat does not mean it's breakfast. It means we're always prepared to seize the day. But uh, who cares? Let's get this day started. Okay, there's a reason why I'm only wearing boxers right now. I wanna show you my physique in this type of light. Building muscle every single day. You didn't see my legs, but the legs are still freaking there. And then, you know, people have been asking me, oh, Brennan, are you taking testosterone? Are you on any supplements? Are you doing any type of things? I'm gonna get to that a little bit later. It's called muscle memory, but this is my physique. And I don't know why I'm talking like that. Let's go train Ricky. I'm currently collecting myself before I go absolutely freaking beast mode today. Okay, let's freaking go. Um, in the last video, oh, today we're hitting upper body with Ricky Garcia. This is day six of the Body Evolution series. Remember the Body Evolution Challenge in the description. And if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button and join the freaking fam. So yesterday I posted a video about how I was 115 pounds with acne all over my face. Weak in my mind, weak in my body. And now I'm freaking just like the happiest man alive, living in the best place in the whole entire world. So today I wanna show you something a little bit different. I wanna maybe give you the three best foods for muscle building. Lean muscle, that's what we want, right? You just don't see this every day. Hot wheel, dog. So starting off the day right, um, I feel like I got punched in the face like usual. You know, I have allergies, my eyes get blown up. And then I'm waiting here for a Ricky. Always be on time, people. And then number three, I'm wearing this freaking weird hat. Well, you might think it's weird. I think it's just a part of me, but uh, you gotta do what you gotta do and live out the way you wanna live. Hello, boys and girls. Today we have not only a driven man, but a sexy man too. <laughs> His name is Ricky Garcia. Oh, yeah. how you feeling, bro? I'm feeling alive, <laughs> and I'm feeling did you, blessed. Did you eat a lot this weekend? I did eat a lot. Okay, and are you still sore in your upper body, lower body? Tell us, tell us how you feel. Okay, so sore. My leg. Okay. That hurt. Okay. I'm sore on my tries. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Bias, not sore. Okay, that's good. Back, back, back. Back, not sore. Abs? Abs, not sore. Okay, let's get it. You ready? Let's get it. Three, two, one, and let's go. So one of the main things I like to do is get Ricky to get a little jaw going before his workout. It's in the morning. You gotta get that blood flowing. No injuries, no injuries. We're working right here, firing those rhomboids, that posterior capsule of that shoulder. Come on, there you go. Tiny in that core. Again, this will be engaging the core and also every muscle around that scap because he has to retract and depress and make sure he's squeezing here, but also staying in a good position here and not going down too low in that neutral position with the hand. Sweaty palms ain't making it much better. Something about you feels so special. This is literally the most Smoking his work I've ever had. Outside, trying to get your attention. You make me nervous. In the corner of my best friend's sofa, you were getting right, so as I train body evolution series uh, one of the most important things I see and I notice with people is how tight they are and the way they don't warm up and when they're not warming up or when they're not training they're not stretching they're not doing what is needed to make sure that their muscles don't get too tight and that actually causes a lot of injuries when it's too tight all of your myofascia is here it's, it's ripping so like as it's pulling across and you're trying to open it up it's and then that's where you get tears and that's where you get injuries and sprains and strains and all those cool fun things that we do not want. So make sure that you're taking a ball, some type of a foam roller, whatever it is, and really rolling out different parts of your muscles. Right now, part of his bicep that, that inserts here is 
really, really tight. And it's affecting him in a way where like when he was hanging from the pull-up bar, he was like, oh, I kind of feel like it's really, really tight in that area. So right now I'm just like using some work to, to open it up and other muscles around it. Because remember, it's not only this muscle, it's probably his tricep and it's probably his last, I guarantee you, his subscap of his rotator cuff muscle is really affecting him as well. So all those different things are going to have a big effect. Make sure you take that into account. Thank you for tuning in for this workout day six. That's right. All right, so I'm here at the park and before I show you the three best foods for lean muscle gain. I want to talk about a simple question. You know, Brennan, are you on any testosterone or any steroids during this process? And why are you getting so big so quickly? So when you talk about someone that hasn't trained in, let's say two months or seven months or ever, ever before, and they start working out again, or they start working out, period, a lot of different things happen. And your muscles are working in what it's called is this gas theory, right? And your gas theory is all about you're alarmed by a stressor and then you start conforming to that stressor and then you start building a lot of muscle from that stressor and then you kind of get used to it and now you have to switch up your exercises, your variation. And when you're training for a while, that's like you know every two weeks, you have to kind of switch up what you're doing every three weeks, every four weeks. When you're just starting off, you have to adapt a lot longer. And with me, I've already adapted to a lot of these exercises. Um, and there's actually a phrase that people say, it's called muscle memory. It's something that I don't, I don't like that phrase. It never really was something that I believed in. It's more so the connection from my mind to my muscle and everything that I've already done. So I've already been through it before. So when I'm eating properly, when I'm starting to exercise again, and I'm starting to put in specific movements that are resistance filled and quick, explosive, but also hypertrophy repetitions and rest periods all these different things come together and they get you bigger quick so that's why I've gained so much weight in such a little time yes I am not as big as I want to be not even close but I'll soon be exactly where I want to be so there you have it and now let's go eat we're back home we're finally back home and uh, I'm gonna show you the three best foods for lean muscle. Okay, number one is going to be cookies. Toasted pecan. If you think I'm serious, when you got a problem, mister. All right, don't hate me, please. No, seriously, don't hate me on this one, but um, today's not gonna be the video of, unfortunately, the three best foods. I'm actually gonna show you what I picked up at the grocery store, and then tomorrow's video, check this out. So today I wanted to talk a little bit more about the testosterone, the steroid thing, and then tomorrow will just be the lean muscle stuff. It's easy. I can't tell you what all that is because that's in tomorrow's video, but I picked up some Sun Warrior Blend Chocolate Protein. I wish they would sponsor me. I really do. I picked up some banana, Pellegrino, mm, pecan cookies. Barely any ingredients. Very good. I always have to be prepared for a snack at any time of the day with the brown rice cakes and the sunflower butter. And then in this bad boy, peppers. Peppers are so important. A lot of great vitamins in there. And then obviously the zucchini, more zucchini. And then we have cashew milk. This one is no crap. So it's unsweetened plain. And then in the freezer, we got, okay, that's a lot of shrimp. Yes, we got shrimp. This more shrimp, more shrimp. Uh, even more scram. <laughs> so I do cook, yes I do cook. I have my prepped meals, which I'll be talking about that soon. And then I have all the foods that I just showed you with some more vegetables, plant-based things, uh, to make sure I'm getting all my, nutri all my nutrients. I don't know why I just did that, that was kind of weird. But yeah, there you have it. Okay, it's super freaking windy, but um, I just took my bike. Actually, let me just show you what I just did. I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast And every moment counts, baby, I don't want to miss a thing And now we are here, you see? Patrick is over there, I'm going to show you a little behind the scenes of what's going on in the life of Brennan Myers Like sometimes, it's, it's only sometimes, it's like all the, it, yeah, it's pretty much all the time That's your vlog for the day. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Remember tomorrow, a lot of times the cool things are coming. Day seven, lower body, baby. We're getting jacked with Ricky Garcia. Thank you for tuning in. Peace.